Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2018 Panini Select Football 12 box. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's a brand new release. Just came out today. We've done some random team breaks. We've done some a pick your team break already. And here's our second team. Pick your team. Second pick your team. Anyway. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into it. Spending a bit of your Wednesday with us. Appreciate that. Liam with the Last Bot Mojo Bears. And there's everyone else. Thanks, everybody, for getting into this. Really appreciate it. Now, I don't see... I see a couple orders coming... One order coming in. So we are working with... Now that we're getting closer to the end of the night, we are working with some uh, deadlines, ladies and gentlemen. We got another pick your team of this on the site now with just four teams left. So if we fill that by the end of this break, we'll have time to squeeze that in tonight. Not only that, we would also build enough time to do impeccable basketball breaks two and three. Pick your team two and three. Which would be great. We can do another one of these, right? Another full case break. And we can do a couple quick basketball breaks to close out the night. And then we'd be good. And then we'll be back tomorrow and do it all over again. All right. Box one. Good luck. Settle in, folks. The break will take about an hour. Just kick back. Relax. Oh, just as a note, another quick note here. So I'm sure it'll be inevitable in this case right here. Um, all the XRC cards will be grouped together as one lot and randomized to the name on top at the end of the break. And uh, if there's any points, usually there's one or two points cards in the case. It'll be to the second name, also winner take all. And I think, what, was, what, what else did I want to say in this? All cards ship except for veteran base. All level 2 and level 3 cards will ship as well. But just veteran level 1. I think we just concourse, I think. Veteran level 1 will not. Obviously, all, all rookies will ship. All inserts will ship. And, of course, the hits. That first impeccable basketball looks pretty good, Tyler. Uh, we did two actually. We did a random number block break, and we did a and we did a uh, a pick your team break. I feel like we haven't seen any of like the big OMG rookies yet, but I feel like the old school guys and the veterans thrown in there were pretty good. And it's a good looking product too, so I think it was good in that sense. Zebra already out. This is a super short print, one per case. Stefan Diggs, can you dig it? Goes to Jeremy S. and the Vikings. And then there is, haha, haha, Clinton Dix for the Redskins, Eric Leal. So I'm sure we'll, if we do another impeccable basketball or two tonight, those big name rookies are still out there somewhere. For the football, I feel like we have not seen a Lamar Jackson autograph. We have not seen, we've seen a couple Baker Mayfields, to be honest with you, but we have not seen all the other big, no Josh Allens yet. Did we see a Sam Darnold autograph? No, definitely no Saquon Barkley. So there's Emmanuel Sanders, a little oppo Joe Mojo for the Broncos. That goes to Kevin Smith. So there are some names, big names that we can, we can chase. Maybe that's a, that's a Rosen right there, maybe. It is. And it's an autograph. There you go. Jersey and auto, Josh Rosen. That goes to Jake Rosenbaum. Ha <laughs> ha. I see what you did there, Jake. Nice. The chosen Rosen. 19 out of 25. Nice low number on that, too. That is strong. We'll save that for picture time. Social media for the Soch. Um, all of these, we're going to... I'm going to set aside, but our shipping team will sleeve and top load those. I'm just going to breeze through, through.
through it just in the interest of time. Now we got to look for this guy. There's Adrian Peterson. And these will, I'll top load right away just because they're die cuts. I don't want them to... Those, uh, those edges can get dinged up if they're not top loaded right away. 81 out of 99. On that, Redskins, Eric Leal. Dalvin Cook to 99. Um, Rory saying that... Yeah, that's what I heard too. That Saquon is... All of his are redemptions? None of them are live? What do you think Saquon was doing, Rory? He's not, he's not that busy. Kike Kuti didn't have to go to the, didn't have to play in the playoffs. Out of 25 Texans, Derek Dowding with that. Out of 199, Deshaun Watson also for the Texans. Speaking of the Texans, folks, King D was supposed to come here tonight, but he flew into LAX, and then there was like a little bit of rain, which made everything crazy. And then he, he has his kids with him, too. And he said that they were acting all crazy. So he might not be able to make it tonight, folks, because he got delayed at the airport trying to rent a car and then blah, blah, blah. blah. So that's, the, that's the King D update. Rory says he's too busy texting Haskins. Is that what's going to happen? EA had a theory, Rory. Eric Ange had a theory that um, that the Cardinals would trade this guy for the Giants' number three pick, right? And then, um, and then they take Kyler Murray with the three. They take like Joey, sorry, Nick Bosa for number one, and then they take Kyler Murray with three, and then the the Giants get their get a get a quarterback in Josh Rosen with already you know a year of seasoning or a year of experience under his belt already I mean could it happen possibly should it happen I don't know I feel like you get uh, I feel like you get Kyler Murray if you've got like a strong offensive line and you've got a game plan that's perfectly tailored for him, otherwise, what's the point? You know, if you're not going to go through all that trouble to tailor the game plan direct just for Kyle, Kyler Murray and be sure to, you know, enact that for the next handful of seasons, you know what I mean? Big Chubb, Nick Chubb, Jersey and Otto, Brown, Steven on. There you go, Steven. So this might go in a slightly heavier card stock here. Bigger top loader. It's too big. Too big of a chub. Fits more comfortably in a 180 top loader. 11 out of 49. There's Mariota to 75. That goes to Chris Parent. And another one for you, Chris. It's Taiwan Taylor. 74 out of 99. Nice relic there. Now EA is asking, where's Antonio Brown going? Well, and Le'Veon Bell for that matter. Where are those two former Steelers going? Tyler says Antonio Brown to the Niners. Rory speculating that Antonio Brown would be a Seahawk. That would be... Wow. I didn't even... Is that a, a legit rumor, Rory? Or would you like to see him be a Seahawk? That, that, would, they would, that would actually fit the Seahawks. Actually fit the Seahawks pretty well. Yeah, let me save one of those uh, bakers for you too. Silver. That would be pretty interesting. Packers? No, Rory says that they don't want to pay. Yeah, Tyler's up in the Pacific North. Tyler is saying, I don't think... Tyler, you're a Seahawks guy, right? I don't. He says he doesn't think that they're going to make that move. Well, that's the thing. Who's going to pay for... Who's going to pay for those guys? Not only in a trade, but then in salary as well. And then, you know, they're not exactly... They haven't positioned themselves as great clubhouse guys either. You know, there's Harold Landry autograph. 
for Chris Perrin, the Titans. But, I mean, you can't deny that those are dynamic players. Pat McAfee goes to to uh, Jeremy Graham and the Colts. Out of 199, Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Oh, that's Juju Smith-Schuster. Time for Juju Smith-Schuster to, to shine. Oh, you're a New England guy. Well, you're happy this year. I don't think the Chargers would want him. Well, see, Jordy was getting older, too. They didn't want to pay an old receiver, but what if you pay a, a younger receiver that's still kind of in his prime? Matt Gray, what do you think of Impeccable? Personally, you were underwhelmed? Why? We only, we only did two cases. I feel like it's kind of hard to judge the product after we only did two cases. We haven't seen any of the big rookies yet. It's good and bad, though, you know? You kind of want to see the big rookies all the time, but then you kind of don't because you want to make sure they have great, greater secondary market value. But I think it generally is a pretty popular product from year to year since they introduced it a couple years ago with football and then basketball. So, you know, I, I, li I, like, what, um, I like what Impeccable could offer. But we've only done two cases, so. But yeah, Rory's right, I think. I, th I think some of those autographs, especially the jersey numbers and the stat sets, sell for a lot better. It's Cortland Sutton to 99. Roquan Smith. Titans. Titans could use a wide receiver, and they've got money. Yeah, you need someone... You need a... Someone for Mariota to throw to. There's Adam Thielen. I don't think Rams. I don't think Chargers. I think they. I think Chargers like what they have there. I think they'll they'll try to shore up some other areas. Tight end maybe. Uh, that Thielen goes to Jeremy S. in the Vikings. There's Ryan Tannehill. They already got Keenan Allen. I think they like a couple. Of, they got Mike Williams on the other side. So I don't know if they're really going to go for Antonio Brown. I don't think the Rams would either. I think Rams want want a healthy Cooper Cup back in action. Points. That'll be randomized to one person in the break. Um, so I don't think Rams. Now that's interesting, Dennis. Colts with Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. I mean, can you imagine that? That that would be that would be like heaven for Andrew Luck. You got T.Y. Hilton on one side, Antonio Brown on the other side, and Le'Veon Bell, and a couple of their other young young running backs in the backfield. <laughs> running back one, first running back drafted. That's the XRC card. You know, and they already looked. They were a playoff team with what they had last year. Imagine if they added those two pieces with a healthy Andrew Luck. There's Demarcus Robinson jersey and autograph. I think I think Houston feels like they're okay with their receivers. They, I think they want to look at other areas. I think they'd be more inclined to get Le'Veon Bell before they get Antonio Brown. They got DeAndre Hopkins already. You know, Kike Kuti plays pretty well. Will Fuller is good, too. So I think Deshaun Watson has good relationships with those guys. And Antonio Brown wants to eat. He's, he, he, he has to eat. So he's not going to share the, the, you know, he's not going to share the food bowl with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Now, Titans, though, if he, was on, if he was on EA's Titans, Antonio Brown would, would, get, would get 15, 20 targets a game. <laughs> Patriots, yeah, the Patriots have always been looking for, looking for that, that big play. Although they haven't really needed it, you know, but that could that could extend Brady's career for a little bit, you know. So Rory saying a few minutes ago, 
that the main rumors were Raiders, Seahawks, Packers, and Niners. I could see Niners for sure. Right, see, the thing is, I would have a hard time seeing the... You're right, Dennis. I would have a hard time seeing the Steelers make that, make that play, though. Niners? Nine? Jimmy Garoppolo? Need someone to throw to? I mean, if the Raiders can easily get Le'Veon Bell and... Um, Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, that would solve two big issues. And they could focus on, like, defense and other, other areas in the draft, which would be... which could be interesting. There's Mark Andrews. Two out of five. The Greens are out of fives. Nice one for EA and the Ravens. EA having a decent day today. Eric, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. One of their like 12 tight ends, right, on the team. Although every one of them gets rotations. They, they get snaps. Calvin Ridley, 75. And Julio. Would the Falcons go for Antonio Brown? That might extend this guy's career a little bit. And with Calvin Ridley, healthy Devonta Foreman. Interesting. There he is right there, Calvin Ridley. Leighton Van Der Esch to 199. Sorry, I keep those points keep sneaking up on me. There's Tyreek Hill, two out of ten. That card is gold. Almost looks like a kaboom card. Nice. That goes to David Allison and his Chiefs. Card is gold. There's DeAndre Hopkins. There he is. What's up, Dave? Um, I th think the Niners, this is uh, third running back drafted. I think the Niners are a little light on the running back area too, right? I think they've got some guys that could be a player, could be players, but I mean, nothing like Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, the Niners, they, they probably have cap space. Raiders have cap space too. Although I feel like the Raiders would be more inclined to spend money the offseason leading up to Vegas. So not this summer, but the next summer for, for the Raiders. There's Todd Gurley. So I have a feeling they may just kind of build through the draft this year. I mean, they've got a number of draft picks from Cooper and Khalil Mack. Nice Michael Bennett tie-dye for the Eagles. Michael Jones with the Fly Eagles Fly. Who knows what the Raiders are doing? Out <laughs> of 15. I, I like Gruden a lot, but I don't know. I don't know if it was the best time to bring in Gruden. You kind of need like a, a ready-made team for Gruden, not for him to start from scratch. But whatever. What are you going to do? I'm used to it. Well, if you look at WalterFootball.com, ladies and gentlemen, they've got some mock drafts up there, too. We can, we can kind of discuss that. Gruden have a fresh start until they go. Yeah, well, I mean, Gruden has a 10-year contract. You know, they got Mike Mayock as a player personnel guy. Um, but I think, I think they're just going to, they're not really going to make a huge splash until their first year in Vegas. You think two years? What have you heard? Stadium, stadium should be done. I was there last Christmas, Dennis. I saw the stadium with my own eyes. A lot of progress being made there. It should be done by the next year. Oh, sorry, Rich. I missed your question. No, I haven't, I haven't seen any Sam Darnold autographs yet. I think one relic maybe, some parallels. ESPN said option for 2020. 
Hmm. Well, we'll see. It's, it's supposedly on schedule. It says 2020. Right, isn't that next year? That's next summer. Yeah, that's always what it was going to be. So this year, they have to find a place to live this year, 2019 season. And then summer of 2020 is when they'll start moving in. The draft will be in Vegas in April 2020. Stadium should be done in the middle of that summer and should be ready for opening whenever their first home game is in September of 2020. I think that was always the schedule. Doris Fountain of Youth, jersey and autograph for the Colts. That'll be for Jeremy Graham. Seventy three out of seventy five. And Dan the Man Marino, piece of his jersey. Ninety eight out of one ninety nine. Yeah, isn't the twenty twenty season next year? Do I not know how to math? That's not two seasons, that's next season. This year is the 2019 season. Uh, Dolphins, that's Anthony P. Just player role material. I just want to double check that. I don't want to wait that long, Dennis. Steve Largent to 99. And there's the Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye. I guess I'm confusing. I think it was always the 2020 season when, when they were scheduled to go there. So it's not new news to me. The Nigerian Nightmare for David Allison and his Chiefs. And there's gold, Kyle Aletta, die cut, 2 out of 10. Oh, they're, so they're saying that it could be another, so they could spend 2020 to 21 in the new, in the in Oakland or something like that. Right, yeah, this upcoming season is 1920. So Raiders were always supposed to find a, find a home before the stadium. That's what they're trying to figure out now. 75. And, okay, so the new news is that the 2021 season could be, could be delayed. Because they're always, they're always supposed to go in fall of 2020. Guess maybe that's not going to happen. All right, next box. Hmm. I don't want to wait an extra year. Where did my knife go? There it is. After this box, we'll be halfway through this break. Then we've got another 25, 30 minutes to go. And Rory is saying just the Clippers left in Impeccable 2. And that spot random is already full, which is going to happen after this. So it would be nice to do that and then jump right into the uh, the Impeccable Pick Your Team break. How are we doing on football? Still four teams left in Pick Your Team 3. If that doesn't fill up shortly after this break... We may run out of time to do that tonight. So if you want to do it tonight, get it locked in. Here's my homies, Patrick Mahomes. Just FYI, we can do it tomorrow. I'm here tomorrow, so I got to have something to do tomorrow. But if you want to do it tonight. 
Jersey and Auto, Jaleel Scott for the Purple Birds. 76 out of 149. EA with the Ravens. Or we can just, yeah, Rory, we can just close out the night with Impeccable 2, 3, and 4 if you'd like. I'm down for that too. There's Robbie Anderson, two-color jersey for the Jets. 40 out of 50 for Rich and the Jets, Jets, Jets. Rich obviously looking, looking for that Sam Darnold. Have not seen an autograph of his today, right? I don't remember one. Die cut, AP, all day. You guys, is, and girls, is, uh, is Adrian Peterson a cyborg? Right? I feel like he kind of is. Eric Leal with the Redskins. There's no way he's had a career this long playing as hard as he does. Out of 175, Adrian Peterson again. He's like Vince Carter. Vince Carter's a cyborg. He has he has robot parts in him, just like uh, Yarmir Yager. Also a cyborg. No way guys like that play that long, playing that kind of sport. There's Chris Hogan. Tom Brady reaching cyborg levels too. One sixty eight out of one ninety nine. Uh oh, Rex, are you threatening me? Joe needs to pull me a Mo Bamba in the next impeccable basketball. Otherwise, you're going somewhere else. Where? Where are you gonna go? Twenty seven out of forty nine. The bus. Jerome Bettis for the Steelers. Michael Gallucci. Judge Ito Smith out of one ninety nine. You'll go. You'll go to. You'll go to Rory. Yeah. Are you gonna go to the to, to the precious metal guys? All right. I get it. You gotta do what you gotta do, Rex. I can't stop you. Just keep plugging away, and cry every day. Rex is like, can't quit you. Can't leave Jaspies. I can't. We have too much fun here, Rex. All the other guys take it too seriously. Or they're, or they're boring. <laughs> does, does that movie hold up over time, Jerry Maguire? I feel like it kind of doesn't. Maybe it does. I don't know. I should rewatch it. Garrett Strauss predicting a one of one in this box. Garrett, if a one of one pops out of this box, I'll give you one dollar of break credit. There's Jersey Auto Dante Pettis. You're gonna say it's for the AFC East. If there's a one of one AFC East, I'll give you two dollars of break credit. Roquan Smith die cut to 75. We got Chad Thomas for the Browns. That'll be for K. Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll crank it up to three bucks if uh, if Garrett names the team. I mean, $3, that, that could go a long way. Roquan Smith to 75. There's Khalil Mack to 49. Kurt Warner relic for the Rams. 
21 out of 199. Oh, Kevin's getting out. Uh, this, this is just for Garrett. Now everybody wants money. Look what you started, Garrett. We'll save one of these. Sam Darnold, Reds, or uh, Silver. Antonio Callaway to 99. Lamar Jackson, 12 out of 75. That's it. That's the box. Sorry, Garrett. Nice try. We'll get him next time. All right, next. We've had wise guys try to predict non-football players to pop out or on a redemption or something like that. I've always said, if like Shohei Otani comes out of this box, I'll, I'll give it to the Angels in whatever next pick your team baseball break there is. All right, folks, we are halfway through this full case break. Let me make myself a little room here. Tea break. That's right, Corey K. Garrett Strauss is rooting for you. Because he had, he had also said the Bills. Watch the one of one Bills is in this box. And Garrett's like, no, my $3. Would it be bad optics if I didn't give Garrett three bucks? If it comes out anywhere in this case, it might be bad optics for Jaspi. It's like Matt Kusher not, not paying his caddy. And he finally did. He caved. Do you pay? You got to pay the caddy, right? I feel like you have to pay the caddy. If you win the tournament, you win like $1.3 million, you got to do it. I don't care what your previous arrangement was. Yeah, you got to pay the caddy. You got to pay him the 5% the, the standard or whatever. Like it was like a replacement caddy. So it's just like that's like 5%. Caddy, his main caddy gets 10% of whatever. I don't care what agreement you have beforehand, but if you if you win the whole thing, it's just bad optics. 31 out of 50, Harry Carson, two-color jersey. Nice, for Big Blue, that goes to uh, Liam, who has New York football giants. Well, I think what I've heard, Rory, is that, is that your regular caddy gets 10%. But his regular caddy couldn't make it. He, he was kind of a last-minute event for Matt Kusher. And so he got one of the local guys to caddy for him. And apparently that's 5%. But they had agreed upon a different fee before, you know, before it even happened. But then he stumbled into a win. There's Antonio Callaway. So, I mean, you kind of have to... There's Mika Fitzpatrick to 75 Carlton Davis. Out of 75. We got a James Washington tie-dye. Two-color jersey. Autograph. Tie-dye parallel for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Three out of 25. Daniel Owsley, did you, what, did you pick up another personal box? Nice. We should be able to get to that some point later time, maybe after that impeccable break. Which is still not sold out. Someone grab the Clippers here. Okay. <laughs> 
And Andy's looking up richest caddy. Well, who is it? Well, Rory says that that uh, Stevie Williams guy with Tiger Woods. Oh, well, the only main caddy to take less was Stevie Williams Tiger because he was making so much money. Matt Breida out of 199, or one out of 99 for the Niners. And there you go. A couple Chiefs at the end right there. Four boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. We need to wait for, uh, is Mark, Mark here? Now 21 from his old username, Mark N. He's a golf pro over at, uh, at some, some course in Boston, some big, big place in Boston, some TP C or G or something like that out there. He, he would let me know. Are, are caddies worth it? What are they? Uh, Aren't, are they just carrying a bag or are they actually giving you uh, advice? I guess it's maybe it's different for every player. Maybe some players, it's just the guy that carries your bag. Maybe some players need like a little extra help out there. I don't know. We got second defensive player picked in the draft. That'll be part of the randomizer at the end. Out of 175, Mike Kosicki. Calvin Ridley to 75. And out of 125, it's Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett Relic. To 125. Uh, yeah, Jason Carey, give me a second here. Uh, Chris Parent with the Seahawks. I think I have that saved somewhere. I knew what you meant. Um, there it is. That's the cardboardconnection.com. Oh, you know what? I actually do have the group break checklist by team right here. That second link might be a little bit easier to scroll down to the Clippers and you'll see everything. All right, we got Mr. Biscuit to 199. And two out of five, Carson Wentz. What? Michael Jones with the Fly Eagles Fly. Picked the Eagles and pick your team too. And ends up on the Wentz wagon. Nice. Out of fives and under. Get the train whistle all aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop whoop. Nice. Select's been pretty nice, you guys. Just Kike Kuti to 199. Right? Two out of five. Bang, bang. Plaxico Burris. That's for the Giants. Liam Mahoney. It's out of five. Bang, bang. Whoop, whoop. Remember that? Remember Plasco Burris? Tie dye, Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer. All of those will be top loaded and sleeved before, or sleeved and top loaded before they go out. All right, three boxes to go. Good luck. Ed Ram needs a Joey Bosa. All right, let's try to find one of those. Still have three boxes left.
Uh, Robert, you got it. We're almost done, Robert. You can't, you can't stay up. Oh, come on. All right, man. Oh, well, maybe there will be some saints. There could be. I, I went to bed before the break was over, Mojo. We've seen that happen. People join a break and say, "Hey, good night." We'll check the video in the morning. I've lucked out. So, oh, I'm sorry. Little TS Collectibles and more says, "My buddy is a cat. He knows every bit of that course with his eyes closed." Hmm. I guess I. Uh, I don't know. I've not, I don't. I don't golf. I'm not a golfer. I want. I guess I want to be a golfer. I should be. A, I should become a golfer. Should I get into my golfing phase? Or should I just become an expert miniature golfer? All right. Next box. There's Jamon Moore out of 25. And out of 25, Chris Hogan die, cut, tie, die, auto for Karen and her Patriots. There you go, Karen. Seventeen out of twenty-five. Nice. I had no idea that Johnny O used to be a pro. Hmm. There's Drew Brees out of one ninety-nine. There's Marquez Valdez Scantling to seventy-five. There's Jaleel Scott to one ninety-nine. And there's Carry On Johnson to 75, Jersey and Auto. I should get into it. I feel like I would uh I would be able to to wrap some vacations around it. I'd be like, yeah, I'll go I'll play at St. Andrews and hang out in Scotland and check out Scotland. I'll go to Perth and golf and then check out the west coast of Australia. Can I sell a 1617 box for 200? I could, but I don't think I would. If we had NT, I don't think we'd sell it for that. There's Chad Williams, 74 out of 99. Relic for Jake Rosenbaum and the Cardinals. Yeah, see, that's what I figured about caddies. Like, I would think, wouldn't a pro know a course pretty well as well? I don't know. There's Kirk Cousins to 99. I can't play golf with you guys. You guys are too good. They'll they'll be like they'll be like they'll be like a force behind us being like, dudes. <laughs> you gonna let that kid just, just be like just play through guys, just play through. I would jump on that deal, Jason Carey. It's a good deal. 35 out of 99, Kirk Cousins for Eric Leal. Now who would be my caddy? Bill Mosher saying uh, Nick Jaspi, perhaps? Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. Nor his older brother. His older brother and I are pretty good friends. and I know he's a bit of a golfer. Uh, my caddy would be... I'd want, like, Ariana Grande as my caddy. Can I, can I get Ariana? I don't know. She might not be able to carry the... I don't know. She's probably stronger than we think. Probably works out a lot. She dancer, so yeah. It'd be Ariana Grande. I'd have her caddy for me. Yeah, she might fit inside the bag, Andy. In inclement weather, she could use that as a nest. Bill Moses, I've developed a gigantic crush on Ariana Grande. Yeah, you and like, I don't know, at least half of the male population. I think I think she I think she makes smart choices musically as well. I think she she selects good producers. She's got a great voice. 
probably one of the best voices I've heard since like Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston. You know, and she doesn't seem to be as obnoxious as other, other sort of vapid pop stars, right? There's Tremaine Edmonds, 75. But yeah, I'd have I'd have her I'd have her a caddy for me. <laughs> she and she'd be like, you know what? I think that green is sloping a little bit that way. You wanna? It's like, all right, thanks, Ariana. It's a good tip. <laughs> Watch, she's like an incredible golfer. There's DJ Moore to 75 jersey and autograph. This DJ be DJ Moore for Travis Yoder and the Panthers. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Rory's got me on that zebra. 15 out of 49, Rashad Penny, Seahawks. Devonta Freeman to 175. ODB, OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., Philip Lindsay and Christian Kirk, Relic, Jake to 149. If if Missy, I, I'll I feel like Missy Elliott would be fun on the golf course. Yeah, I'll, I'll golf with, have her be my caddy too. I'm sure she has some great music industry stories. Josh Gordon to 99, still Pat's edition in that one. Another baker will save one of those. And last box coming up. Bill Mosher says, who would be your dream golf foursome? Tiger, Michael Jordan, Barkley. I feel like I feel like Tiger Woods would be fun. Barkley would be fun. I feel like Jordan would get too competitive. And then he'd start being like, hey, let's start betting $1,000 a hole with Barkley. And then I'm just like, uh... You know, like, I don't got $1,000 hole money, you guys. You know, maybe maybe like 10 bucks a hole. We can do that. How about miniature golf, you guys? Braden says John Daly. That would be pretty fun. Bill Murray, that's a good one. Rory saying, what, Tiger, Emmett Smith, and Michael Jordan. Or M substitute Emmett Smith with Aaron Rodgers. What about Tony Romo? Tony Romo would sounds like he'd be fun to golf with. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. More Baker Mayfield. Patrick Chung. Five out of 25. Jersey and autograph. Nice tie-dye for Karen and the Pats. There's James Washington out of 75. Die cut. And David Johnson. Three out of 99 on that relic. Seventy-five on that die cut for Seal Curtain. Rory not approving of Ed Ram's choice of Chichi Rodriguez, Sergio Daly, and VJ Singh. There's Mahomes. Do we not like those golfers? I don't know who I'm supposed to like and not like. Sony Michelle. Ronald Jones is second out of five die cut. Nice. Travis with the Bucks gets a train whistle at the very end. Nice. Two out of five. All aboard. Woo woo.
Maybe maybe Ed's Ed's the caddy, Rory. Maybe that's what he was suggesting. And nice, Nick Chubb for Steven on. Thirty-four out of seventy-five. Steven Jackson, Tom Brady to one ninety-nine, tricolor, and Josh Rosen at the end to forty-nine. And there's Brett Favre. There you have it, folks. That's a full case or in the books. Pick your team two. That's how we're gonna do the randomizer. There were three XRC cards. Be randomized to the name on top, two running backs and a defensive player, and 800 points going to spot number two. So let's get some dice. Let's get a blank list. Let's get everyone's names from Jake down to Eric. All right, and let's roll the dice six times, one and a five. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, the two names on top. Name two, that is Jake. You'll be getting 800 points. And Nicholas Esposito, you'll be getting all three of those XRC cards. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team three in the books. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.